What's up Wayne Baron here with Architect Studios and as you can tell we are inside of a photos and video folder within my images F drive on my Windows 10 system. And the reason why I'm showing you this is that a lot of people have questioned me on how I organize my system. Well I like to organize by year, by month, by day. So we come over here and I have some new images right here. I am a new grandfather so I have a lot of images of my granddaughter as well as other computer related stuff and the weather. So what we're going to do here, so we're going to open up two folders. Bring this over here. We're going to come over to our photos and videos and since this is 2018 we're going to click here and these are going to be from March. So we're going to go ahead and create a folder for March. Now we're going to come over, we're not really concerned about what the images are right now but what we're mainly concerned about is the date so we're going to choose view details and then right here we can simply find out the date of all of them so if everything is in order we come all the way down and see we got some stuff from february so it goes from february all the way to march what we're going to do here is that we're going to come up back over here into february and then we're going to find what dates we have so we've got february the 23rd the 24th and 25th. We're going to start off right here, the 24th. We're going to go ahead and grab a hold of everything that is the 24th, and then simply just going to drag it right over to here. We're going to come over to here, and we're going to create a folder for the 23rd, and then we're going to drag everything for the 23rd over to here. We're going to do the same thing with the 25th. We're going to drag, drag everything from the 25th, over to here. This right here makes it so that if you got a lot of images of your your children, uh, sports activities that your kids are doing, or if you're going to be doing stuff for your own projects, taking pictures for your own projects, this right here is the way that you want to organize all of your stuff so that you know when it was taken, so that you don't have to worry. Go okay on the 28th. I took these pictures on the uh, well, it's only 28 days for February. So let's come over here to March. And then you can say, okay, I took these pictures in March, but when did I take them? And then you can just simply come over here and you've got them. So we got one, two, three. Okay, so now that we got all of our folders done, it's just quick and easy drag and drop and put them all where they need to be at and since we're in the same location that's all we're doing is this we're just dragging and dropping them right over then we have one for April come in Come over here and choose one and then move this one single file over to here. See now we got our video. So we're gonna come down here since we're, we're gonna come over to February and go ahead and move our videos over as well. We got come all the way down here. 23rd. Now you may choose to create a different folder for your videos and your images. You can do that as well. You can actually have them within the same folder, just have them within subfolders. And I'll show that in just a moment. Have your photos and your videos separate. So what you do is that you simply just create two folders within your folder. So one for images, and then you create one for videos and you take all of your images and then you move them inside of your images and then you move your videos inside of your videos and you do that for all of your folders and it makes it a lot easier oops, to organize or to actually find your stuff so that you don't have to go okay I know it's inside this folder but oh look at all these videos look at all these images and so forth but it makes it a lot simpler if you can organize everything and make everything look the way you want it to look. And then that way you can actually find what you need, especially if this is done for a work environment. Because if it's done for a work environment, you don't want to have 
your stuff so unorganized that you cannot find it whenever your boss or your the person you're contracting for is saying hey where is this information at if you can't get the information up to them fast enough then they're not going to hire you again so then you just but that is pretty much how this is done it makes everything a lot smoother a lot easier and it just just makes sense because whenever you don't organize it i mean you think about it if your house is a mess all the time okay you can't find anything well your computer is your house so it's called good housekeeping and i've been doing this doing my systems like this pretty much since i started with computers back in 2099 back in 99 was when i got my first computer so and i've been doing it like that since then i love to organize and keep everything as clean and neat as possible you want to actually have these all to where they're in order properly then you can simply add a zero whoops a zero one and then come over here to february add zero two and then march and then april it sucks that you got to do it like that but i don't think there's any other way to organize by date within windows and i also do this with i mean everything we come over here to our images we go inside of our catch-all folder i'm a huge kiss fan so anything that i download from kiss goes inside this folder so we come here we got 70 72 73 you come inside of 72 and then 73 and then we got folders for everything here for all of the dates that they did and uh and most of the folders i've got are just the month and then within there the date sort of like what i did over here and but yeah i mean this is how i do everything it helps to keep everything organized so that you know exactly where you need to go in order to grab that information so that you can edit it share it or do whatever you want to do with it all right i am wayne baron the stark Fix studios and this is how i keep my storage as clean as possible. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.